pain is temporary. I will never let anything or anyone define me. I am me. I have no title to my name. Anything I want to do, no matter what it is, I will make happen. All my dreams will come true. Mini Dot Harris. What's up, gang? What's up, Nene Dot Harris gang? Back in here. You know what it is. It's story time. Representing chapter two. You know, y'all seen my first story. If you haven't seen my first story, go check that first story out. The second story consists of my second chapter from moving on from high school to college. So, in this story, I'm just basically explaining you know everything that went on in college not everything but you know the main points and you know the special people who played a part in it so let's get into it small town girl eight hours away on her own but i did it lindsey wilson college columbia kentucky L -D in 2015 I was questioning the direction I wanted to take, whether it was basketball or track. I chose track. I'm here in high school. I didn't know anything about the process. It was it was basically foreign to me, you know. I almost missed my opportunity with Lindsay. Um, Long story short, Coach Foster gave me a call. He didn't give me a call, but he kept calling me. I had, you know, and I wasn't really noticing because, you know, numbers you don't really recognize, you think it's a bill collector. So I'm steady, I'm steady sitting there and not knowing that the coach from Lindsey Wilson is actually contacting me. I'm just ignoring phone calls. And one day at practice, Coach JC comes up to me. And he's like, uh, the coach from Lindsey Wilson College just emailed me, um, said they've been trying to reach out to you. You should call them. I said, okay. So I call him, <laughs> you know, and he's like, you know, yeah, I've been trying to get in touch with you, blase, blase. And I'm like, man, well, I, I honestly, I didn't know. I just thought it was a random number. I didn't, I didn't know. And. It was a South Carolina number, so I was confused. I don't know anybody from South Carolina. So, moving on, though, to this day, he still pickled me about that, saying, Noon, noon ain't want to answer the phone. <laughs> but, you know, I, you know, luckily, he did email me, and we got in contact. And just from that moment, that's when I ended up having more conversations with Coach Foster and with Coach Gordon. We started building that relationship. From building a relationship, they actually gave me an offer, and that's when I took the initiative. And Cumberland High School threw me a great, you know, event to sign my letter of intent. And from that day forward, I was a part of Lindsey Wilson College and LWC Athletics. When I first settled at Lindsey, I almost ended up going right back to Virginia because. I didn't see anyone that I could relate to, or anyone I could actually have a conversation with. And it was weird to me at first, because I mean, I was in a room by myself. I wasn't doing anything. I didn't really want to go to events because I already felt like an eyeball. If you watch my last story, you can see that I was very shy and I was, you know, in reserve. And I didn't know how to approach or what to do, because I mean, like I said, I haven't been away from home. I was confused. So once we actually had a official team meeting, that's when I ended up meeting some lifelong friends, you know, off up. I started meeting my family, some lifelong family members that that was been, that's been added to the tree. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But yeah, we met that. I mean, I met I met them. Um I didn't some of them I didn't actually meet from the meeting. I actually met um some people beforehand and some funny ways once once I met the team and everybody everybody else who was a part of the team poof 
poof, feelings went away. <laughs> All those feelings that I that wanted to be back home went right away. It went away. I ended up uh, connecting with them very well. The LWC track team always had energy. I'm talking about energy. When I say energy, the track team had energy like. I'm talking about always hype. Every single teammate that I met, they all meant a lot to me. Like deep down, I'm saying that from my heart. Like you all, all, all of y'all play a part somewhere in here, you know. Because at the end of the day, I don't care how little and I don't care how how big. At some point, you affected me in a way to make me either change or grow. So I respect that to all of my teammates. And I love y'all. I just want y'all to know that. The moments that are captured and shared with this team for the length of four years became extremely special, like really special. The support of the team was insane, something I never felt before. I'm talking about from regular season track meets to the Mid-South Conference Championships, even to the NAIA National Championship meet. Every single one of these individuals in these pictures became family. Family. We had a special group called Fat Five and the Six Man. And I honestly, I don't even remember how we actually started that group. And it actually started off as Fat Five. And then um, the Six Man got at it because he started, he started becoming, you know, started hanging with us a lot more. So it was. It was me, Kevin, Tink, Lex, V, and Christian. C Dog. I call him C Dog. It was a special group, man. For real. That was a special group. Kevin and V are two people who has been with me through my ups and downs all throughout school. If I was doing wrong, they wouldn't hesitate to tell me. Whether it hurt me or it made me smile. Tink, that was my friend, my soulmate, my everything. One person who truly know me at my worst and my best, inside and out. Lexi was my dog. In senior year of college, we just fell out of a relationship. But it's something that's a part of life. Seat Dog was the one who I can always call. He'll forever look out for me, whatever I needed. Not just for me, but for anybody. A true provider and hustler. We've grown a lot closer after college, too. All of them been knowing me since freshman year of college. We came in together and left together, including others who are considered family as well, like Big Lex, Jerron, AJ, Hope, et cetera. It's a lot more. We all graduated, and graduating wasn't what meant the most to me that day. It was the scene of my family coming down to Kentucky and being able to witness all my friends walk across that stage proudly. We all did what we went there to do and that was to graduate, along with goals we wanted to achieve on the track side. I want to give a special shout out to all the great mentors I've came across at Lindsey Wilson College. Coach Jermaine Gordon, Coach Timothy Foster, Coach David Claybrooks, Coach Teresa Scott, and Coach Anthony Thompson. Thank you all for the guidance and patience to teach me to be successful on and off the track. As far as my track career, I achieved some outstanding records, rings, and medals throughout the course of four years. I had injuries every year besides my senior year, but blessed to still be able to compete every year. After four long years, I graduated with my Bachelor's of Art in RTSM recreation, tourism, and sport management with a minor in business administration.
while being a part of the Black Student Union organization. So from this story, so from this story to the younger generation or maybe even the older generation, I want all of y'all to know that you can do anything and school is not meant for everyone. It's not meant for everyone. But whatever you want to do in life, all you gotta do is make it happen. It's not about where you're from, it's about what you do. So it don't matter if you come up in a big time city or you come from a small town, like little old me. It's whatever you want to do. And this is only a part of my chapter. This is chapter two. Remember, it's, it's ladders to climb. On every ladder is a step. You can't skip steps. If you try to skip a step, you'll end up falling. I want the younger generation to know. I understand I'm on social media. And I may do some bad influence things sometimes. But we're all not perfect. And that's why I'm here to tell you I'm not perfect. But when you make mistakes, you have to make sure you learn from them. Because if you don't learn from them, Guess what? They turn into a habit. And habits are, are hard to break. So think about that. I want the younger generation to understand that it's not about the social media. It's not about what people think about you. At the end of the day, a person living in their feelings is living in the past. A person who's living with being anxious, living in the future. A person who's living through peace, is living in the present. Really think about that. And I wanna say, I wanna thank everybody. I wanna thank Lindsey Wilson College. I wanna thank Lindsey Wilson Track Team. I wanna thank the coaches that I've encountered with all throughout high school and college I appreciate all of y'all because anyone I come across I don't care if it's a second you played a part in my life and you matter it means a lot to me I'm extremely grateful for all the blessings and the opportunities that came my way but guess what just like the first story part one I'm still not done. <laughs> I'm still not done. I'm still not done. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Be on the lookout for part three. <laughs> climb your ladders, baby. Make sure you climb yours too. I done built mine. I'm climbing in 2021. Watch me. Hey, make sure you put a comment down here and tell me what I need to improve on. Let me know what you like about this video. Like, give me feedback. Let me know. Let me know. Okay? 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 Love y'all. We out.